guys, Tardis 16 here. Welcome back to Back to the Future, the game. Episode 1, Part 5. So let's get back into the game. Previously, uh, before we get into the game, previously, we delivered the subpoena to Arthur McFly, and now we have to get the uh, alcohol from the speakeasy, which is really the soup kitchen. <laughs> Saturday, June 13th, 1931. Let me just make sure we... Okay, it's great to talk to Edna to try and get the alcohol. Have we delivered this one already? Yeah, we have. Go talk to Ed. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. Ha <laughs> uh, What's the scoop? What's the scoop? I've heard rumors that something shady is going on at the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen. It's under new management, you know. And, oh, we mustn't jump to any conclusions. Not till the facts are in. I hope to heaven it is just a rumor. That soup kitchen is the front line in the good fight. If it goes bad, what will happen to the Stay Sober Society? Not to mention all the charitable institutions that depend on me for soup deliveries. She delivers soup. You make hot soup deliveries? It's one of my many small contributions to the good cause. Healthy bodies, healthy souls. Or so one hopes. I pick up barrels of hot soup at the kitchen, and I deliver them hither and thither. Hill Valley Orphanage, the St. Francis Xavier Ranch for Unwanted Children, Foggy Mountain Home for the Incurably Insane, Shady Acres Rest Home. Oh, I can barely keep track of them all. It's a very big job. Okay. We can help you deliver the soup. Hey, I can help you deliver soup. I donate a lot of time to charities. Oh? Which ones? The, um, Mario Brothers. Ah, uh, yes. The Italians do so many good works. If you'll just fix it so I can pick up the barrels of soup. Now hold your horses, let's not get over eager. I drive the soup cycle in this town, and I'm not about to turn it over to an upstart. But, if you're well connected with the local charitable institutions... Yeah? You can let me know when they're running low on soup. Okay. That's the same. What's the Stay Sober Society? You haven't heard of the SSS? They do the most marvelous work, taking hopeless drunken bums and turning them into former hopeless drunken bums. I'm one of the founding members. And not to say that I was ever, well, you know. Anyway, we've always met in the cellar of the Sisters of Mercy soup kitchen, but for some reason the new managers don't want us down there, so we're stuck. We've got nowhere to meet. We know where to meet. I know a place where the Stay Sober Society can meet. Oh? Where? The Brown residence. You mean Judge Brown's place? Yeah, I happen to be good friends with his son Emmett, and he's told me the judge would love to lend his place out for, you know, good causes like yours. Really? Why, that's the most generous, public-spirited offer I've received in a month of Sundays. Please, tell your friend Emmett we accept. The meeting isn't due to start for a little while, so that'll give our people some time to set up. Okay. As a matter of fact, I do know a local charity that's running low on soup. Oh, who? The Stay Sober Society. Bless you for thinking of them. But that meeting isn't scheduled to start for a little while. And we wouldn't want them eating cold soup. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? Yeah, the Stay Sober. The Stay Sober Society. Bless you for thinking of them. Yeah. But that meeting... I got a book. Oh, where? Now 
now we have to go to the soup kitchen. truck just arrived with a fresh shipment of, uh, soup. Soup? Soup? Well, uh, this is the regular soup, and this is the special soup. Right. Special. It's not soup. Hey, what are you doing? I'm spicing up the soup. It's my secret recipe. Listen, this ain't the Savoy, and we ain't here to feed these bozos no fancy soup. The boss has got a business to rebuild, so knock off the goofing and mind your post. All right, all right, just try the soup. Well? Ah, I can see why you want to keep this a secret. Excuse me. You talking to me? Can I have a bowl of soup? We're a soup kitchen. What do you think? Uh, what kind of soup is this? It, it tastes like... Scrolle Ribolita? I was gonna say weak old cabbage. Yeah. Everyone's a critic. Look, all I got to work with is this two-bit soup in a barrel and spice rack that hadn't been restocked since the Coolidge administration. What do you think I should do to perk this slop up? Let's see. Have you tried... Giving the soup a little heat, maybe? Why, is it getting cold? No, I, I mean, like chili powder. Muy caliente. Oh, bit of a tough guy, huh? Actually, I like it spicy too, but it's gotta be edible for the common folks. <laughs> Come on, a little dash isn't gonna kill anyone. Aw, oh, heck. You got moxie, kid. Let's spice it up a bit, shall we? Yeah. Cube ball, my man. There's no way I'm going to keep that door open without some help. Let's ask Emmett. Huddle up, Emmett. Huddle? Just listen up for a second. Emmett, I can't get into the door over there. Those tables are jamming it shut. The door? So your plan is to just waltz in there and take a barrel of alcohol? Uh, no, uh, of course not. That would be stupid, right? I'll say. Yeah. Still, I'd like to get that door open. I can't do anything from out here. Well, it's a simple matter of physics. A lever, some sort of stop. Let me see what I can come up with. soup in a barrel because it's hard to ladle off the floor
What's a tough guy like Kid Tannen doing running a soup kitchen? Mr. Tannen purchased the soup kitchen from the Sisters of Mercy in an effort to repair his reputation as a respectable community figure after his fine name was besmirched by the malignant and malicious malicious the actions of the misguided vandals that 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 done burned down his place of business. It's speakeasy. I cannot confirm nor deny any claims of so-called illegal <laughs> bootlegging at the the just eat your damn soup, pipsqueak. So this place used to be a soup kitchen. What do you mean used to be? <clears throat> Despite recent changes in ownership, this joint is still available for the purposes of distributing food to the needy and the not so well to do. And no other purposes whatsoever. Right. Okay. Okay. Mind if I look around a bit? No. Okay, I've got some more ideas about your soup. Do tell. Let's see. Have you tried... Mm, paprika. Paprika? Paprika? Uh, I, I just think you could use a little uh, color. Color? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Eureka! Looks like these pipes go into the basement. That's what it was before. I don't think so. And how do I turn in the lift? I'm trying up the hints on this. How do I do that game? What is it, kid? Got my ideas for you. Soup. I still think the soup needs more flavor. Okay, now we bang on the pipe. Maybe not. She's here to deliver ah, the soup. Miss Strickland, come for some more soup? Come now, Mr. Donnelly. You know I wouldn't set one foot in this mockery of all that is good and decent if the poor of Hill Valley weren't so dependent on Mr. Tannen's overblown show of generosity. Was that a yes? Just give me the soup before I gag on the hypocrisy. He hasn't noticed the thing fell over yet, really. I'll tell the boss you said hello. I'll just bet you will. And they picked up the barrel of hooch. 
Now all I have to do is to get it from her somehow. Okay, let's go. Her to deliver the soup to the Society. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Callahan. I'm afraid I haven't much time. The meeting of the Stay Sober Society is due to begin very soon. You asked me to tell you if one of the local charities is running low on soup. Does somebody need a visit for my soup cycle? The Stay Sober Society. That's right! They'll soon be gathering at the Brown Estate, and we haven't provided refreshments. Yeah. I can't get over the generosity of your friend Emmett, volunteering his father's house for our meeting. Huh? Oh, wait there! Harry! What in the name of Thomas Alva Edison do you yeah. think you're doing? Don't you get it? You need alcohol to run your drill, right? Those bootleggers at the soup kitchen won't let us get our hands on any of their hooch. But we can get Miss Strickland to pick it up for us and deliver it right to your door. No! Out of the question! Why? I can't just let strangers invade my parents' house. What do we know about these people? They're sober. They're sober. It says so right in the name. Well, okay. But a pop needs his peace and quiet at the end of the day. This meeting is sure to be too noisy for him. I'll be quiet. You'll be quiet, right? Oh, yes! I play my tambourine very softly. You hear that? Yes, but... But what? But it's still impossible! Think of the Stay Sober Society. What'll happen to them? They can all fall off the wagon for all I care. I promised Miss Strickland. It means so much to her. The answer is still no! Okay, forget the whole thing. We don't have to test your rocket power drill tonight. We don't? No. I'll take the train back to Washington and I'll tell the folks at the office to give the patent to Dr. McCoy. Wait! You will instruct the members of the society to wipe their feet before they come inside. Then you are, Emmett Brown. I thought as much. You have such a righteous face. Edna Strickland, I don't know how to thank you for your generosity. Oh, um, uh, pleased to meet you. The feeling is mutual. That works. I've got a bad feeling about this. Now you worry too much, Emmett. Well, we've served the subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! Well, that is all for now, ladies and gentlemen. Doc! Think... Oh, wait. I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go! Time waits for no man! Well, that is all for now. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.